Yeah, welcome to Sepan. Today we are discussing understanding refraction level two. In this level two, we are going to be discussing how to calculate the refractive index of materials using different formulas. This topic to take you through this topic is myself or Rishija Matthew. Understanding, we are going, throughout this lesson, we are going to be looking at understanding how to calculate the refractive index of a material. First of all, let's look at the definition of refractive index. The refractive index of the more dense material is the ratio of the sign of the angle of incidence to the sign of the angle of refraction for a light ray traveling from less dense material medium to a more dense medium so the refractive index n is equal to sign of the angle of incidence in the less dense medium to the sign of the angle of refraction in the more dense medium so the simple formula n the refractive index is equal to sine i over sine r. This is a blue light. From a laser beam traveling from air to glass. Measure the angle of incidence i. Measure the angle of refraction R. The angle of incidence is measured from the normal, so that will give you about 60 degree. The angle of refraction is measured from the normal, that will give us about 35 degree. Calculate the refractive index of the glass. I is equal to 60 degree and R is equal to 35. So sine 60 divided by sine 30, that will give you 1.5. So let's look at calculating refractive index of a material from the speed of light. The refractive index of the more dense material is the ratio of the speed of light in the less dense material to the speed of light in the more dense material. So this formula for refractive index is the refractive index is the speed of light in air divided by speed of light in glass. So let's look at some material. We have three material, water, glass and air. The speed of light in water is at 225 million meter per second and the speed of light in glass is 200 million meter per second while the speed of light in air is 300 million meter per second find the refractive index of glass so we use the speed of light in air over the speed of light in glass. I'll give us 300 million meter per second divided by 200 million meter per second. That will give you 1.5. It's as easy as that. So let's look at the... Find the refractive index of water. I'll give you speed of light in air over speed of light in water so 300 million meter per second divided by 225 million physics. meter per second that will give me 1.33 subscribing to super easy so that is the and mathematics refractive index for sure you will benefit of from mr matthew water. wealth of experience of preparing students to get an a plus in physics All right. Calculate the refractive index of a material 
from the wavelength of light. That is the definition of refractive index with respect to wavelength. Wavelength of light in air divided by wavelength of light in the more dense medium, for example, glass. So we have lambda A over lambda G. Calculate the refractive index of water if a monochromatic light has a wavelength of 7 times 10 minus 8 meter and 5.263 times 10 minus 8 meter in air and water respectively. So you have light with the wavelength of 7 times 10 minus 18 in air and 5.263 times 10 minus 8 in water. So what is the refractive index of water? Wavelength of light in air over wavelength of light in water. So that gave us 1.3. Calculating the refractive index of a material using the critical angle. The refractive index by definition using critical angle of the more dense material is the reciprocal of the sign of the critical angle of the ray traveling from more dense material to a less dense material. So refractive index is 1 over the sign of the critical angle in the more dense medium. Calculate the refractive index of blood with respect to water. So the ray is traveling from glass to air. So the critical angle in glass is 62.5 degree. So the refractive index of glass with respect to water is going to be is going to be one over sine of the critical angle. So one over sine 62.5 that will give you 1.125. That is the critical angle for a ray of light traveling from glass to water. Thanks for learning. We've come to the end of level two lesson. Watch out for level three. Mathematics. For sure you will benefit from Mr. Matthew wealth of experience of preparing students to get an A plus in physics.